Modulate Healthy Relationships, written by Dr. George Tanis and narrated by Lydia. Greetings, welcome to LifeCoachBootCamp.com. Important. Before you study this lesson please watch this video, why? Example. If you or your client are in a relationship and the other person displayed an attitude of not being truthful, you need to master and you need to educate your client the following. Confront and level. Assertive communications as well as I feel good, PST, positive self-talk. Make sure to answer the questions at the end and follow the instructions for submission. Human beings are social beings, and that's why we tend to form relationships with fellow human beings. Our relationships are often based on experiences that we have with other people, the time we spend with them, the things we do for each other, and our emotional connection. The stronger the emotional connection the deeper is the bond. All relationships we form play a crucial role in our lives. From personal to professional, every relationship is important. While personal relationships give deeper meaning and higher purpose to our lives, professional relationships help us climb ladders in the corporate world. The meaning of a relationship varies from person to person. While some people consider their relationships their greatest strength, some people consider them baggage. Some people put a high value on their relationships, while some people avoid forming deeper bonds. Everyone has their own definition as per their experiences. But there is no denying that when people form healthy relationships, it comes with several benefits. Whether it's your family, your friends, your coworkers or just someone you've recently met, nurturing relationships comes with several perks. Benefits of healthy relationships following are a few benefits of healthy relationships. Better emotional support. When we are down, we usually seek emotional support. When tough times arrive, we all need someone who understands our problems, our situations, and can offer emotional support. But many of us prefer to keep our concerns to ourselves because our relationships are not deep enough or lack trust. But when a person forms healthy relationships that are enriched with trust, they find it easy to share their problems and concerns and receive emotional support. Better communications. Healthy relationships encourage the flow of ideas and thoughts and make communication seamless, which enables an individual to express his emotions effectively. Better care. When a person forms healthy relationships, he receives more care from his comrades. More and more people care for his well-being and his health and offer them the needed support. Healthy relationships also enable a person to receive help and support from multiple helping hands which enable him to combat the crisis and emerge out of any given difficult situation. Less stress. Stress affects every aspect of our lives. Increased stress can lead to several health issues. But healthy relationships can help you de-stress from time to time. Compassion, empathy, comfort, and love, all these factors can help you lower your stress levels. In addition to this, healthy relationships also give you an outlet and help you get a fresh perspective from others, which help you solve problems. Longevity. Several relationships enable us to ditch toxic habits and help us adopt habits that enable us to live longer. People in romantic relationships strive to become better versions of themselves. In addition to this, reduced stress, better mental health, better care, and support, all these factors help a person lead a healthy and longer life. It is evident that healthy relationships come with several perks. And nurturing these relationships lead to the welfare of a person. But busy schedules and fast-paced lives often take a toll on our relationships and force us to put them on the back burner. And as these relationships get ignored, with time, the deep bonds and the emotional connections we form also fade away. As we grow older, only a few things and important aspects become the center of our attention and more and more people start dropping out of our lives. But whatever the reasons are, it's never too late to rekindle the old flame. By putting efforts into your relationships, you can reach out to old connections and once again nurture them into healthy relationships. Nurturing healthy relationships The following are the steps that can enable you to nurture healthy relationships. Build trust and respect. Trust and respect serve as a cornerstone of healthy relationships. These are the basic building blocks. When relationships are based on these factors, relationships thrive as people feel safe and feel that their opinions matter. Solve problems together. From time to time, we all require helping hands and guidance. And so do others. 
helping your friends, family, and co-workers during the time of crisis helps you strengthen the bond and enables you to establish trust. Support each other. Life is full of hurdles. And we all seek emotional support when we are feeling low. Being there for someone, supporting their decisions, and being a source of motivation can help you form a long-lasting relationship with a person. Make time. We all lose touch from our loved ones. People go from seeing each other every day to talking on the phone once a month. But to keep a relationship healthy, it's important to invest in it. And one of the best investments could be of time. Giving your relationships time can provide them the fuel they require and help you nurture them. Avoid making assumptions. When people jump to conclusions, it leads to misunderstandings which can create loads of mess in the relationship. But when people keep an open mind and try to uncover the situation and discover facts, it facilitates better communication. Work through the challenges. Every relationship comes with its own set of challenges. Conflicts, disagreements, and differences are a part of every relationship. But working through the challenges can help you form healthy relationships and can help you coexist with people of diverse mindsets. Be a good listener. Several times, when people approach us with their problems they are facing, we start telling them what to do and what not to. We jump to conclusions and start enlightening them with our experience and expertise on the subject. But many times, people are not looking for solutions. They look for a good listener. They just need to vent. Being a good listener can help you relieve the person's stress and can enable you to form deep connections. Empathize. Walking in other people's shoes helps you understand what they are going through and their perspectives better. Empathizing can help you acknowledge the feelings of another person better and can enable you to nurture the relationship. Are your relationships healthy? Do you have ideas on how a person can nurture healthy relationships and what steps can he or she take to form lasting bonds? The essay please write an essay, up to two pages, about a past experience you or someone you know had an unhealthy relationship. Tell us in detail, who, what, when, where, why, to whom, the time, the place of what you did. The outcome. And tell us in detail how you could have changed that use from what you learned today, so the outcome would have been good. Internalize this lesson. Make it become a part of you. Share your story in the forums Our advice is for you to practice healthy relationships with everyone for at least a week. Tell others around you to point out any event in which you didn't. Have them hold you accountable. Visit the forum and do a confession. What is a confession? A confession is when you've displayed a wrong behavior and were held accountable by one of your family members, peers, or even by you. Visit the forum and tell us about it. We will give you feedback. Make sure to watch the video about confession for more details. Furthermore, become a member of the forum and give feedback to others. That's how you gain practice in becoming a certified life coach. Read the article? Time to introspect. Q1. Do you seek help from friends or family whenever you get stuck in a difficult situation? If no, why not? Q2. Do you make time for your loved ones? How many hours a day do you spend with your spouse and your children? Q3. Do you find yourself jumping to conclusions or do you check the facts first before making assumptions? Q4. How do you deal with the differences? How do you handle conflict in your relationships? Q5. Would you say you empathize with people? Do you try to understand their point of view? There is no way any relationship will survive without having the qualities mentioned above. Make sure to read each article carefully at least three times. Print your workbook and answer all questions. Once you have completed this entire journey, you will be issued a Life Coach Certificate, so long as you've been a member of the forums. Also, follow the instruction for sharing your story in our forums, as well as participating in our forums, especially our Unique Confessions Forum, so you may gain practice, knowledge, experience, and expertise. I am thankful that you have given me this opportunity to share all of this with you. May God bless you and bring prosperity and peace into your life. Respectfully yours, George Tannis, Ph.D.